Lemon and Coca Matcha are staging a non-violent promotion of an academic book in a week-long bed-in at a hotel in Hawaii. They are holding open hours for the press to visit them and talk about the book, a book by Dartmouth College professor Edward Miller called Miss Alliance, Ngodin Ziem, The United States, and the Fate of South Vietnam. In the annals of Vietnam War history, no figure has been more controversial than Ngo Dinh Diem. During the 1950s, U.S. leaders hailed Diem as the miracle man of Asia and funneled huge amounts of aid to his South Vietnamese government. But in 1963, Diem was ousted and assassinated in a coup endorsed by President John F. Kennedy. Diem's alliance with Washington has long been seen as a Cold War relationship gone bad, undone either by American arrogance or by Ziem's stubbornness. In Misalliance, Edward Miller provides a convincing new explanation for Ziem's downfall and the larger tragedy of South Vietnam. For Ziem and U.S. leaders, Miller argues, the alliance was more than just a joint effort to contain communism. It was also a means for each side to pursue its plans for nation-building in South Vietnam. Miller's definitive portrait of Ziem, based on extensive research in Vietnamese, French, and American archives, demonstrates that the South Vietnamese leader was neither Washington's pawn nor a tradition-bound Mandarin. Rather, he was a shrewd and ruthless operator with his own vision for Vietnam's modernization. In 1963, Allied clashes over development and reform combined with rising internal resistance to Ziem's nation-building programs fractured the alliance and changed the course of the Vietnam War. In depicting the rise and fall of the us ziem partnership, Miss Alliance shows how America's fate in Vietnam was written not only on the battlefield, but also in Washington's dealings with its Vietnamese allies. Ron, Ron, why didn't you hold this bed in in Hanover, New Hampshire, where Professor Miller works? Oh, it was so cold, man. So cold. I mean, it's it's great if for like the March of the Penguins, mate. But I mean, you know, we're human beings. We need it. We need sunshine and enough like warmth so that you don't turn ice. into a, yeah popsicles, mate. As an interracial couple reporting about a book called Miss Alliance, is there some symbolism here that we're supposed to see? Miss, then these are your people's language. You're missing the point, man. We are here to talk about the cop, the truth. Positive. Yeah, and there's so much gray area out there. It's not just as black or white as Miss and this. No, we're not concerned about this and Miss. It's your problem. The truth is gray. You can't miss or diss it. It's there. That's where we're at. The truth. Ron and Kono, it's I mean, Coco. everyone knows uh, that uh, Ziem was plucked from obscurity. What evidence does Professor Miller have that this was not the case? No way, man. Ed did research in the archives, in Saigon, in Washington, D.C., all over the place. And he clearly shows that Ziem and his brother Nhu laid down a clear foundation Took them years to do, man. They're working hard all the time, and not just a hard day's night, a hard day's day, a hard day's afternoon. And they set up the foundation, man, so that when the time came, Ziem was the only person that you could have chosen for that job. And by the way, God is obscurity. How can you block something out of obscurity if there is no such thing as obscurity? Show me on a map, man. Where's, where's obscurity? You can't go there. It's only in our heads. And Ziem wasn't plucked out of a head, right? Couldn't have happened. Just a state of mind. A state of mind. A state of mind. Foxy, Foxy. Hey, what? <laughs> Can I talk to you? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, Rod. Uh, oh, hi, hi. 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 With you. hi. How are you? Now, many people would say that America was promoting democracy, but Ziem, he was just an autocrat. How would Ed Miller respond to this? Democracy. 
So Zian, he had a different vision of democracy than the Americans. And I think we've all got a different version of democracy than the Americans, man. Yeah, just look at what's happening in America it's right now. It's a game now. show. It's, it's not democracy. Show. So Zian, Zian wanted a state of mind, an ethos. For him, democracy, man, it's, it's, it's some kind of, it's like a, a social ethos based in a certain kind of moral duty. And seriously minded, not just like a reality show man who can run for president right now, like what we see in the U.S. In elections, a system. Ziem wanted something more than a system. Ziem, Ziem wanted an, a, a, a mindset, a way for people to think, to, to you know, man, to get to, to, get to, to be a community, to be together. And remember, it's not our idea, it's Ed Miller's idea. Read the book, you see a lot of stuff there. A lot of words. Lots and lots of words. Like yeah. 300 pages of words, but deep words, and words based on archival sources that show us what Ziem was really thinking. And he was thinking something different than Americans. Right, but also, you need to have a state of mind, that state of mind, to really get to the point. Yeah. I mean, as a modernizer, you have to admit that Ziem failed in implementing land reform and modernizing society, right? Did Ziem fail in his efforts to achieve land reform and social revolution? No, man. I mean, well, first, what is achievement? But why are we so concerned about achievements? Why is it that everyone has to achieve something? I mean, eating breakfast is an achievement sometimes, yeah? Having a good conversation over dinner is a good mm. achievement, I think. Taking a cold shower can be an achievement too. So why are we getting on Ziem's back about his achievements? Ziem had a different idea about achievement. What Ed Miller shows is that Americans wanted to give land to people and let them make money, where Ziem wanted to move them to places where there was land and have them build a community. Like a communal sense of... Uh, it's a mindset. The mindset, again. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a mindset. It's the ethos, the way you think, the way you feel. That's what Ziem was trying to create. It's a different vision of nation building. That's a different sense of ownership. Mm. Mm. It's not like entitlement. Not we like this is it. my land. We're working hard together to earn this land. Mm. That's beautiful. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so actually, what is the core idea of Ed Miller's book? It's about changing a discourse. You know, for decades, everyone's been saying the same thing, that this guy's a puppet. And so what Ed's doing is he's bringing complexity, and he's saying... He's not just a bloody puppet, man. There's more to this. No one's pulling his strings. He's got his own strings that he's trying to pull. Mm -hmm. Try and pull my string. Try and pull it. I don't even see any strings. See? Can you try? Try and see if you can pull any string. Mm. Drink Coca-Cola. I want to drink Coca-Cola. Ask your people to drink Coca-Cola. I want all the people to drink Coca-Cola. According to Ed Miller, you know, things are not that simplistic as the dominant discourse in American scholarship seems to show up today. Huh? Huh? I, I don't get you. I don't get you. Double bacon, double eggs. I don't get it. What I is, don't get it. What is this Ron? cat doing, huh? Hello. Yeah? Oh, the pizza dude. Yeah. Oh, we're hungry, man. We've been in this hotel room for like days. Yeah. You can make Hawaiian pizza? Okay, good. Yeah. We can get some for all these reporter cats. We got a whole bunch of them here. All right. That's going to be groovy. Thanks, man. I love America. Domino pizza? Yeah. Any final message in just a few seconds? Uh, peace, 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 peace. Peace in your mind, peace on earth, peace at work, peace at home, peace in the world. How far ahead is the peace movement? You are saying basically to be a of yourself. Is it any closer? Will there ever be peace? Do you think that all that there is threat from the military and what do we do about people? Do you think that they'll accept? What do we do?
different song. We got to rate that song. Books are for reading. 